Good afternoon and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. This time we're walking around a lovely Desert Island Blue Ford Puma. But before we get started, if you're enjoying our content and would like to see more in the future, click on that subscribe button and you'll be in tune with all of our latest content. This here is a Desert Island Blue Ford Puma ST Line X MHEV. So that is a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So that means for you, the user, there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge. You simply jump in it and get some very good MPG out the back of it which is partly thanks to the 1 litre EcoBoost engine that produces 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through a 7-speed automatic gearbox. The vehicle is registered on a 2023 registration, meaning you're taking Ford warranty with you until March 2026. The Puma's done just over 5,000 miles, but like always, I'll get you the exact number once on the dash in a moment. Okay, so let's go position ourselves at the near side front bumper. This is where we start all of our videos from and I present to you, rather dramatically, the remote central locking key. Clicking the unlock button is going to wake up the daytime running lamps, the bit that are currently flashing at you, but that is only because of the frequency in which my camera records at. Daytime running lamps will give other road users the ultimate visibility, meaning you're always going to be seen. So even on the dullest of winter's days or the brightest of summer's days, these LED lamps are always perfectly visible. So inside there are also LED headlights. And coming down, we have LED front fog lights and we have parking sensors, which trail all the way around that front lip of the bumper. Just below the number plate there is that little dull bit. And that there is for the driver assistance pack and items such as pre-collision assist. Once we're on the sync module, I shall show you the driver assistance pack in its entirety. Moving ourselves around now, we eventually get to the first beautiful 18 inch machine cut alloy wheel. So if you didn't know already, machine cut gives you the silver, uh, yeah, the silver cut face with the gloss black paint just behind. Tires fitted to this vehicle are the Continental Con Eco Contact 6s. So some very lovely tires. And again, they've only done 5,000 miles of work. Still are in pretty good condition as well. Just going to draw your attention back up to the windscreen because we've got some sensors to discuss. Loads of them. That one there is a light sensor. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. Further north at the top of the windscreen, that long one at the bottom, is a traffic speed sign recognition camera. This can be used in a coordination with the intelligent speed limiter. Top left is a light sensor for the auto headlights and top right is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. Further north we have a, a beautiful panoramic glass opening roof and so that lets an abundance of light and air into the cabin which is going to be perfect coming into the spring and summer months ahead of us. Also is that two tone colour effect on this vehicle so we have the black roof, we have the rear privacy glass, the gloss black wheels as well so it's a really nice colourway on this vehicle. So now we're back down to the driver's door, remote central lock in, lock the vehicle and get the key out. I'm trying to protect my microphone because it's awfully windy out here today. Uh, so on the door handle there we have the four lines, tapping behind that will unlock the vehicle. Simply tap again and that will lock the vehicle. Very convenient system if you have your hands full of shopping, children or anything in between. Please note we also have power folding and heated door mirrors with some lovely puddle lamps underneath just to lose the zoom. And that there is a blind spot assist monitor. So if someone's in your blind spot on the near side or the off side of the vehicle, you'll get an orange illumination to let you know it's unsafe to pull in or out. We're going to start to make our way around the vehicle now. So we've covered the rear privacy glass. But at this stage of the video, I take a step back on the offside quarter. And I just gently rock the camera all the way down side to side, hopefully displaying how beautiful all these body panels are. Like so, linking that back round now to the offside rear. And again, a matching Continental Eco 6 tyre on there. Uh, so this vehicle has fitted rear drum brakes. They're an ultra efficient uh, braking system for the rear because they're ultra low maintenance. So they, they self adjust inside. So you won't have to replace parts on those for a very long time. Obviously on service, so you'll get the drum opened up and they maintain and inspect them but no actual parts will be needed to replace for a very long time anyway moving around the back we have rear parking sensors which again trail along that bottom lip of the bumper 
taking a step back quickly to show you the rear and give you a dramatic zoom in to the reversing camera and that is a high definition reversing camera that looks incredible on the sync module starting to move our way around to the near side of the body we get the camera nice and high again and just gently rock that side to side down the body of the vehicle like so and back round to the near side rear giving you a look at that and then we can follow that beautiful black trim all the way down to the near side front wheel giving you a good look at that there we are a matching set of four eco contact six tires worth noting as well Helis entry is on both front door handles. Nice, uh, nice touch there. Okay, so at the rear of this beautiful Puma, double clicking the boot function will wake up the electronic power towel gate. Uh, we do have the button on the right hand side of the boot seal to shut it once more. Uh, with the Tornio cover built into the rear windscreen so that it sits itself. And now we can talk about this beautiful rear boot space on a Puma. So I think this is why the Pumas have been so popular. Because it's got a gigantic boot, which is very clever as well. So starting from the top, we have a nice 12-volt socket. Little hooks there to put your shopping on. So your, your bags aren't going to roll around everywhere. Your beans rolling around your boot. This boot liner can be lifted up into a higher position like so. And that gives you a reduced distance when loading so if you do suffer with a bad back and you're putting heavy things in you don't want to be bending down too much and that is why they've designed it like so but if you did need the increased volume just push it down like so and you can see just how much that opens up the boot whether it's a couple of dogs suitcases golf sticks you're going to get them all in here if i was just to lift this up now so this area is known as the Ford Mega Box. And that is because effectively it's like a bathtub. Not in this one though, because this one has a space saver spare wheel fitting in there just perfectly. And so a lot of people still want spare wheels, and this one has one fitted. And all the relevant tools and jacks are underneath it. You get the gist. Okay, one click on the button. That shuts it all up again. I need to get out the wind here. I think they're about to be blown away in a minute. Okay, let me just give you, let me just reset myself. I've pushed the seat back all the way a minute ago to take photographs. So it's only right I give you a fair example of actual space in the in the back here. So it's going to start off on the door cart. So we have a hard wearing plastic here leading into a synthetic leather soft touch armrest and we have four electric windows. We have the corresponding switch on the corresponding door cart. Now spinning the camera around for the rear seats, we have an ebony leather with a cloth part in the lower back and the base part of the seat. Being an ST Line X, we have the wonderful red stitching holding it all together. If you carry the smaller humans of this world, you may require an ISO fixing seat. So have your first there, add the second on the near side rear, just there. Down on the floor there are the Ford ST Line mats all ready to go. That's one less thing you have to worry about after purchasing. Just going to tilt the camera up to the sky quickly, just to show you the pan roof from in the inside. So we have, it's like a split system. So we have two individual blinds. I've left the rear one open for demonstration purposes, and I've shut the front one. So you can have the roof open with your blind across. That does let an abundance of fresh air and light into the cabin. We've got the new desirable black headlining in this one. So it's nice just to let a little bit more light in on those summer days right let's progress i don't know how much of this video you've actually heard sound wise but i've tried my best driver's door card has beautiful soft touch synthetic leather again leading into a beautiful soft touch armrest and we have four electric windows we have the folding mirrors rear window lock mirror adjustments anterior locking found just ahead Spinning that camera around for the last time, we do have the lovely synthetic leather, a cloth in the lower back and the base part of the seat. The Puma seats are incredibly comfortable, and they are. I'll just push that back there. We have a rear tilt just there, followed by a height adjustment. Front tilt is on this, oh, my apologies, lumbar support is on this little dial here, and forward and backwards is done on the conventional rail. I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle. You may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone, so please just bear with me for a moment. Wow. 
wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Let me just pop your seat back a little bit more so you don't get all knees in the in the shot. Oh, bizarre weather today. We've had it all four seasons in the space of ten minutes. Right. So hopefully, I'm just going to readjust my microphone. Hopefully, to give you a bit better audio now we're inside. Okay. So to complement the keyless entry, your key's still in your pocket. Don't forget. Click on the engine start stop button just once, and that'll gain you power to the vehicle. So I said the vehicle's done just over 5,000 miles, and that is the case, 5,045.7 miles on the dashboard. This is the beautiful digital driver display. If you haven't seen this before, I'm gonna give you a quick tour around. Left-hand side, we have a coolant temperature sensor. We have a digital speedo. At the bottom, we have the odometer, so the mileage, gear selector indicator, the ambient air temperature. We have a digital readout for the fuel gauge with the bar graph on the right-hand side. The tachometer, or the RPM gauge, is found to the right-hand side with all your chip computers and driver menus found in the middle. So I'm controlling that using the arrows on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. We have things such as chip computers, hybrid gauges, live tire pressures there, auto stop start, and into another chip computer. Clicking the menu button, we can then go into select screens, and from there you can select whatever you'd like to see. Down, if the radio is turned on, you can select your audio preferences from here. Once your navigation, once you set your points of interest and things such as that, your home addresses, it's very easy to set your navigation from this menu. In addition to that, just below it is your phone. Now in addition to your navigation, you can have the directions appear on the screen ahead of you. In phone, this is your Bluetooth connectivity. No phone connected yet, unfortunately. Uh, but that is where you'll find out. Okay, a few more features to discuss on this screen. At the bottom there, we can see the traffic speed sign. So this picked up the 40 miles an hour near the garage, and that is still on the screen. This vehicle has the adaptive cruise control. So if you see those, that road at the bottom of the screen there, I'm just gonna turn the cruise control for standby. So look how clever this is. So it's noticed that 40 miles an hour speed sign. So you can then automatically set your cruise control to the speed limit. That is also the same case with the speed limiter. You can set the speed limiter based on the traffic speed sign, it's red. Now back to that little road bit in the middle. Those little bars you're currently seeing on the screen, uh, which I'm currently clicking the button, that is the distance to the vehicle ahead of you. So the adaptive part of the cruise control, it'll adapt its speed based on the vehicle ahead. Um, if you need any more information on this, please do give me a call, but I won't waste two minutes of your time explaining it for those who already know. So, oh, a little party trick as well. Selectable drive modes on these. Okay, I clicked on the wrong button. Let me just click the right button. Aha, here we go. So we've got a normal, an eco, a sport, a slippery, trail, and back to normal. But whatever mode you put it in, it changes the aesthetic of the screen entirely. So in eco, it goes this lovely little bluey color, giving you a, an eco feeling when driving. Um, but yeah, it's a very lovely screen indeed. Right, zooming out now. Again, those are the arrows I was controlling the screen ahead of me. We have a voice command, a pickup, decline, previous and next song function there. To the left hand side, all the buttons for the adaptive cruise control. So distance, lane centering, so this is the, the fancy one. It'll even keep you in the middle of the lanes. If you're spending a lot of time on the motorway, this is an ideal vehicle. Set speed plus and minus are found in the middle, standby top right, and speed limiter bottom right. And on the bottom of that cluster, we have a volume minus, a volume plus, and also a mute button. Marvellous. The seven speed automatic gearbox also comes with the flappy paddles. So you can go up and down the gearbox respectively, using arrows on either side of the steering wheel. Lovely little feature. Down into the central part of the vehicle now, we have an old school classic handbrake there. In the middle there, we have five different buttons. So we have one, which is a selectable drive mode. We have a traction control button, and this here is the self park assist, followed by automated stop start and parking sensors. Here is the controls for the seven speed automatic gearbox. So you've got the little unlock at the front, foot on the brake obviously, and you can bring it down to the relevant drive position. To the left hand side is a 12 volt socket and to the right hand side is a USB A port. USB A ports deliver about 2.1 amps of charging and that would be perfect for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And just ahead of that, if your phone does support wireless charging, that there is a wireless charger. So you can place your phone down there and you guessed it, it'll wirelessly charge your phone as you go. Next up is the controls for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Currently, you can just see my arm. 
so hello arm uh, fan speed to the left temperature controls to the right hand side at the bottom we have the electronically heated windscreen that is beautiful in the winter months trust me left hand side different demiss functions with automatic just below in the middle all your different flows of vents with re recirculation and air conditioning found to the right hand side going north now we can now talk about this beautiful sync 3.4 module we have the dark blue band at the bottom so we know it's the updated software if i give you a quick tour Starting on the left hand side in audio, where we have various sources such as FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Out there now into phone, this is where you can add your phone via Bluetooth connectivity. In the middle is your Ford Sync navigation. It's a fantastic navigation system, I've used it plenty of times in my vehicles. So let me give you a quick example. Click the search box and for example you'd like to come to Perkins garages to have a look at this beautiful Puma Charlie Mike 776 Sierra Alpha so it's very responsive under the finger and it's as simple as that to program the navigation I won't click start because I'm here already don't forget you can have the directions appear on the screen ahead of you just lovely right next up let's take you to settings this is where you can see your B&O little widget and from there you can adjust all the sound preferences to the B&O audio system. So we have B&O speakers, I think there's 10 individual B&O speakers, even the tweakers there look. Um, so you've got a fantastic sound system on board this vehicle. So if you're into your music, you can adjust all this to your heart's content. I said at the start of the video I'm going to show you the driver assistance pack in its entirety, and that includes the cruise control, which is currently set to intelligent, very clever, or you can have it as adaptive, up to you. Uh, down there into speed limiter again you can have set to intelligent and um, we've got lane keeping system a pre-collision assist it's worth noting actually pre lane keeping system that is now an eu legislation so all new cars to be an encapsulated ready vehicle need to have lane keeping so that comes on every ignition cycle some manufacturers go about it different ways but ford you have a button at the end of the indicator so if you wasn't a fan on it you could just turn it off the click of a button so I think they've recognised that some people don't like the lane keeping system that's easy to turn off. So if that you know, was a point of interest to you, hopefully that clears things up. Next up, pre-collision assist, we have the traffic sign recognition, rear view camera, blind spot assist, monitors, wrong way alert, cross traffic alert. Um, in the vehicle settings there, uh, we have various things we can show you, such as your global open and global closed window, hold down the unlock or lock and it will open or shut the windows respectively. In wipers, your range sensing wipers, then we've got things such as your power lift tailgate settings, auto high beam, different lock and auto fold mirror settings there as well. Before I go, just make the point, this is uh, compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so whichever software you have on your mobile phone, plug it in using a USB data cable and it'll mirror your phone onto this screen here. From there, you can take advantage of all the applications, well, not all of them, but most of the applications on your phone, such as your music, podcasts, audio books, and even navigation. So we have a fantastic forward navigation on here already. I won't be offended if it's not your favorite because you can also use Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze. They're all compatible. So that's about it for me today. I'm just going to show you the reversing camera. I've got so much spec. I forgot to tell you about Self Park. Reversing camera, proximity sensor to the right hand side of the screen. Gives you an intermittent beep and increasing frequency as you get closer to the object in question. Clicking the P button will wake up the Self Park Assist, like so. And that will give you a parallel park out, a perpendicular park in, and a parallel park in also. So if you struggle with your parking, this vehicle will quite literally park itself for you. Ha! Brief. Covered it all. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you did find it useful, please drop us a like, drop us a subscribe, and I shall speak to you very soon. Any further questions, please get in contact 01376 550 899. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon.